I'm Marcia Winbeckler, and my husband Roland and I own CakeSuppliesPlus.com. We're professional cake decorating instructors, and we've appeared on the Food Network and TLC's Ultimate Cake Off. Okay, so I have some gum paste here that I've colored pink and I'm going to make a pink high heel today. And the first thing I want to do, I'm just going to roll it out and make one end a little thinner so it kind of conforms to the shape of the high heel mold here. And you're going to want the smoothest section to go down into the mold because you don't want any creases in your high heel. So I'm going to look and make sure I've got my smoothest pieces going down. And then I'm just going to press it down into the mold. And then I'm just going to flatten it out here. And it'll kind of, uh, as you're pressing down on it, it almost self trims in a way. You can see where how it kind of pulls away there. But I'll use my palette knife to trim it a little cleaner and kind of going from the inside out. And once I get it fairly well trimmed, I put a little bit of vegetable oil spray on here. And then I just rub over it and get it nice and smooth because this part will show. So you want it, you don't want any creases or dents in it either. Then I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 10 to 20 minutes until it's easy to take out of the mold. So I've taken the mold out of the freezer now and I want to loosen it up from the gum paste. Just kind of pull it away in all the spots here. And then Got my gum paste. Try not to misshape it as you're getting it out of here. So there I have it removed from the mold. So what I've done is I have a piece of wax paper here. And this is the shoe ramp that it's going the sole is gonna dry on. But so that I get my heel to dry at the same angle, I want to turn this upside down and leave room here on the wax paper for the top of the heel to sit on. I'm going to lean that up against here and I want to make sure that the height of the heel comes all the way up to here and then as it starts to dry I'm going to press it up here and then let it form down onto the wax paper and then that'll make the heel up here flow right into the angle of the ramp as the sole goes down. So you just want to Make sure it's the full length and that it's that your heel is straight. And I would actually let the heel dry for a couple of days. So now I want to set up my sole drying ramp and the heel goes back here. I want to set this up for putting the parts together. And it's not in the instructions, the written instructions, but what, what I like to do is take one of those extra pieces of styrofoam that was in the package and towards the front of it, I want to take a couple of needles or corsage pins and I'm going to attach this to this. I want it to be uh, so that it's more of an incline because the weight of the heel kind of pulls back and I want it, the weight to be more forward. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to set my heel on here and I have a double uh, strip of uh, wax paper, it's just a, a strip that I folded. And I'm going to put the heel on here and then put this wax paper across it and kind of secure it in place where I want it. And I'm using push pins for this because they're not as long and that way they won't go through the other side. But you could use the corsage pins if you were. So now that's on. supporting the heel. Now I'm gonna cut out my sole and now you see what I mean by the, the angle that I had that at. You see the angle of the heel comes right down into this and if you didn't dry it the way that I said it might have um, sunk down some and might not stay at the same same height as this so so I have my gum paste rolled out and you want it uh, fairly thick for this and I'd say mm, probably an eighth of an inch or so thick because you want it to be uh, thick enough that when it's dry it's going to support the uh, the rest of the shoe. So and then I'm going to use the sole cutter that came with the shoe kit and just put on the 
piece that I've rolled out here and press nice and firmly and get a nice clean cut, peel away the excess. Then I'll bring in my heel support that I set up earlier. I'm going to brush a little bit of water on the heel. And then I'm going to attach my sole here. And depending on whether you want a left or a right shoe, you can flip it over. And then just lay it on here. Line up the sides of it. And make sure that the toe does not come any farther than the toe here of the Of your support so you want to make sure it doesn't extend past that because it wouldn't have the right angle then and just scoot it back there and then I would just let that dry and again a couple of days you want to let that dry so that it's nice and sturdy and make sure it conforms into all the shape here so now for the insole I just want to cut out just like I did for the sole of the shoe it's actually the, the lining of the insole is what I'm going to do here. Take that away. Now this you want to be a little bit smaller than the uh, sole. So, and then just move in just a tiny bit on each side. I'm not going to worry about the toe, toe or the heel at this time. So I just want to trim away a little bit there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll just move it in just a little bit. And then I'm just going to manually trim a little bit off of the heel. I don't have to worry about the toe because I'm going to cut away a majority of the toe section anyway because this is the part that doesn't go all the way down in the shoe. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then around the, the where the ball of the foot would be, you want to make a cut across and cut off this toe portion. Once I've got that cut how I want across there, I want to take a little stitching tool and this is the design wheeler tool that we have and I'm just going to go just in just a tiny touch and right close to the edge just make a little stitching line and this will make it look like where it's stitched to the insole of the shoe. So I brought back in my shoe drying ramp with the sole and the heel on there and I'm going to add just a little bit of water on my insole liner so that it attaches well. I want it moved in just a little bit on the side and the back there so. Next I want to add the heel strap and I've used the template here, the heel strap template to cut out a piece of my gum paste and then I have brought in the dried sole and insole liner that was attached to the heel. Then I want to take one of the little heel strap supports that were in the kit and I run a corsage pin towards the very back of that and then just behind the insole liner I'm going to uh, insert the pin there and then just move the support down. I want to make that hole as inconspicuous as possible but that keeps the heel support in place. Then I want to add just a little bit of water with the brush here on the very base of this heel strap where it's going to touch the heel section there. And want to line it up so that it's going to be equal on both sides, come down the same distance. And also line it up so that it sets just above the heel so that you don't see where the sole is there. Okay, now I've got my uh, open toe strap cut to the template. To also included in the kit. 
and I want to bring in the that resin toe former that I have and set it here. I want to set it just up a little bit on this insole liner so that when I go to take it out it doesn't get caught here and snag. So I want to set it up there just a little bit and then again I'm going to dampen the, the baseline of it here with just a little bit of water is all I'm using and set it over the toe and position it where I want it and then just attach it down to the sole and then just shape it how you want it so that it and let it dry so here's the shoe after I've let it uh, dry uh, a couple of days and all I've done is take a, a fonded extruder and extruded out the smallest of the the round openings that come with it, added a little water on the edge of the toe strap and attached it on there. Then I could uh, decorate these any way that I want. I Here I've got just a couple of strips, one of white and one of pink that I kind of made into a little bow. Added some of the pixie or disco dust on there and that makes a real pretty little toe decoration. Or you could use uh, just any kind of a a mold and I have a used a mold here just in white gum paste and then added some of the again some of the sparkly dust on there but really your imagination is all that limits you on these because you can make closed toed shoes uh, you can make sling backs so leave off the back you can add all kinds of different decorations uh, using this great kit have fun trying out all the different uh, high heel styles